Hi, welcome to the first episode of my version of The Bachelor in The Sims 4. I was talking about this in my latest Spellcaster's Journey episode that I did, that I might actually try to record something like this. So that's what I'm doing. I don't know how many parts of this there's going to be. The gameplay behind it is actually quite boring, so I'm just going to pretty much cut this down into highlights. So the general idea here is here we have our contestants. There is one of each occult and one human. So obviously we have Morgan the Spellcaster. There's a reason for this. I'm, I'm going to get to that in a second. I turned Gem into an alien. This is Christopher Betancourt is a vampire. Jade is the human. And this guy back here is a merman. I was going to use Uku Pop. Wait, <laughs> Uku P... whatever. I don't know how to say his name. I don't even know if I know how to spell his name, so whatever. But I decided not to use that guy. I figured we'd use this handsome guy in the back. And our bachelor, <laughs> and everyone probably saw this coming, is Caleb. There are so many fangirls of this one sim. It would be quite interesting to fangirl together because he's my favorite, obviously. Him and Morgan. Morgan is also my favorite. And I know I've said this before, but I don't think I can have a single save without him. Now, in this case, it was my choice. But even when it's not my choice, he will still find a way to insert himself into a save file. So the way that this plays out generally is I have flirty decor everywhere. I mean, everywhere. <laughs> and it makes everyone flirty immediately. The and they're also in these clubs. This is obviously the contestants club and then we have the bachelor club. The only reason that Akira is here, sorry to Akira fangirls, is to be in this isolated little apartment thing <laughs> because you can't have one person in a group. You have to have at least two. Maybe I'll find him a girlfriend to live here with him. To be fair, this is a two floor. So, you know, he has a bed and everything. It's not like he doesn't have anything to survive. So the whole goal of this is I will sort of get the ball rolling by having everyone flirt with Caleb. And then after that, I just let it play. The winner is the person who can get their romance bar up to 100% first. So, uh, so far there has been no flirting going on at all. I have to say, I don't necessarily have a favorite for this. Usually I come into this and I say, I really hope that this person wins. I think if I had to choose one, I'd actually choose Morgan. And that's also, yeah, that's why there's, um, we all know in the trailer, Caleb is bisexual. So there's both men and women here. But I am really rooting for Morgan and Caleb because honestly, I ship it so hard. I'm just going to put that out there right now. Now, if Morgan actually ends up making some headway with Caleb, I promise you it is not my doing. I have already been doing a save file similar to this. And in that save file, Anytime that I bring someone in and I root for one of these contestants, that contestant wins. And I promise, I don't push it along for it to go that way. It just does. So it's like, when I started it off, Jade got with Caleb. And I didn't push it along, it just happened. And then I brought Jem in. And, whoa. These two merge. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when I brought Jem in, she got into a relationship with Morgan and he won. And I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me, right? So then I bring Lilith in. And in a lot of my save files, MC Command Center decides to get um, Lilith and that mermaid guy that I can't remember his name. <laughs> they always seem to get him into a relationship with her, or at least they have a kid together, which always turns out broken because it's part vampire and part mermaid. And now in that save, Lilith is getting along with him the best. And I'm just like, this is so weird. So let it be known, I am rooting for Morgan in here, but we'll see how things go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have each of them flirt with him to at least get a small romance bar happening. And then I just let it go autonomously. I think I already mentioned that before, but I'm saying it again, damn it. <laughs> so why don't we do Morgan first? Because he's first here in the line and the one I'm rooting for. So whatever. Oh, and these groups, sorry, not groups, clubs. I always say groups. So any, if I happen to say groups, just know that I mean clubs from get together. The okay actions are be romantic, kiss and woohoo with the other club which would be him and then band activities are to be romantic and kiss and woohoo with their own people just because of the fact that that sort of throws everything off if they end up having a romance with each other i just want to put that out there and his is the same his and akira's not that it matters because akira doesn't yeah he's he's stuck there's no door at all here this is just a box with windows and a ladder and another box with windows do it again compliment appearance again I think one more flirt would be necessary, and then I think we'll be good after that. Ask if single. That did nothing at all. Okay. Confess attraction? There. All right. I think that did it. So now we will have him do the same.
So now we have Morgan is at 12. Uh, Felipe, the merman, is at 13. Jade is at 17. Jem is at 13. And Christopher is at 12. So Jade's in the lead for now. Once again, two people that always seem to find each other. I legitimately didn't do anything to make that happen. It's just weird. Oh, and when I built this house, I made this a laundry room. But in my other saves, the Sims just kept burning themselves up with the dryer because they don't know how to clean out the lint trap. And with so many people in the house, it was hard to keep track of. So I just got rid of the washers and dryers. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> They're just going to keep setting themselves on fire. Caleb got caught on fire a couple times. Morgan got caught on fire like three or four times. <laughs> Always clean your lint trap, kids. Could you maybe lose a little faster? Wait, hold on, stop. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if you have to use the bathroom. You gotta wait. All right, so I want to show off her alien form because she's adorable. <laughs> yes, I gave her regular clothes. This is gem as, a, as an alien. <laughs> so yeah, we're never really going to see that form, but I just figured I'd show it off. You know, it'd be really cool if I brought in my Sims version of Alan Walker and just had him man the DJ booth over here. <laughs> that was fun. I don't play that save anymore, but that was a lot of fun when I did that. I, I won't put it up on YouTube because I don't want to look completely lame, but now I just put it out there that I am lame, so it's fine. I made Marshmallow, Alan Walker, Steve Aoki, and the chain smokers. So Alex and Drew from the chain smokers. I don't know. I have no life, but it was a lot of fun to do. One thing I've noticed that they don't do is they don't generally autonomously woohoo, despite me having places where they would normally do that, like a sauna and a hot tub. I don't think they've ever initiated woohoo for the hot tub at all, and very rarely do they for the, sa for the sauna. What I might do after this is like if, you know, once Caleb wins, and let's say he doesn't win with Morgan or something, or maybe I'll just choose one of the other contestants in general and just keep it going. That's what I'm doing on my other saves, except I'm not choosing the contestants, I'm just choosing other townies to get them with. He's just staring off into space, longingly at Morgan. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's watching cooking shows again. Are you kidding me? Yep, watch cooking shows for ideas. You know why I think he does that? I think it's because he's a foodie. Oh, also, I had to change his aspiration because with this, they get the alluring trait, and that really comes in handy with this. Maybe I should try to find Akira a, a boyfriend, a boyfriend, a girlfriend. I mean, I could find him a boyfriend. What about Lilith? I mean, I'm sure Lilith is all alone now. Now that Caleb's not living at home. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Hold on. <laughs> we'll we'll just, we'll let him find love as well. So wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. That would make an eight person household, and that would be great. No children for these families. Uh, so summon a sim. Jeez, you didn't really need to freaking slam it, did you? Lilith's like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm trapped in a box. Full house. Yeah. All right. Ooh, look at you two. Another thing is for holidays. For Love Day, I do make them flirt with the potential contestants because it helps raise things a lot quicker. <laughs> also, if I see that there is, you know, if they're able to have their first kiss, I may do an additional flirt in order to unlock that because I've noticed that first kiss doesn't pop up unless you have a couple flirts before it even if they have the the right amount of friendship and romance which is weird I don't really know why that is but I have noticed that so I might have to add an additional flirt here and there so there might be times where I do have them flirt but it's not autonomous but um for love day what I do is in order to do like the you know they have like goals they have to to have a successful holiday I'll have all of them walk around and give him a rose and then I'll have him give the person that has the highest romance bar with him a rose as well but not everyone else although I could to make it equal I could have him go around and give everyone a rose as well but I figure it's sort of a reward for having the highest romance bar with him at that time Christopher and Caleb both being vampires may give Christopher a bit of an edge up on everyone else but with me doing this for the last like week or so, I'm going to say it probably won't. <laughs> that once they have their mind set on someone, it seems like they really progress with that person, but not with anyone else. Oh, they're going to show off vampire powers. I literally went and made myself some popcorn just to watch this because I know that it's, you know, it's just going to take a while to just sit here and watch. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I absolutely love Christopher. I think he is adorable. Like, before I really knew... Okay, so I was playing The Sims for a while. I stopped playing for a while because I got kind of bored with it. So I got the Vampires pack, and then I started playing, and I made this guy, Christopher, 
only his name was Christopher Height, H-I-T-E, and I got him into a relationship with the original Jade, who didn't exactly look like this Jade. I mean, she kind of did, but like way different. <laughs> so probably not. I got them into a relationship and they were like my go-to couple. I would just play them all the time. Then I got Get Famous and I had Jade, well, Get Famous. And um, I had her, I had them living in Del Sol Valley and they had kids and they were both vampires. I've always really liked him. He's just awesome. For the record, I did give him Vlad's outfit, but I didn't realize it was Vlad's outfit when I gave it to him. <laughs> but now I just can't take it away. Because, oh, Caleb was going to talk to Jem. He complimented her appearance. Oh, she's watching sports. Really? <laughs> and we just went face first into Morgan. Okay. <laughs> yes, brain freeze is a thing that they can get in this game. And my sims tend to get it a lot. Yep. <laughs> Poor Morgan. Flirting really hasn't picked up much, honestly. Please flirt with Morgan. I beg you. Or Morgan, flirt with him. Oh! Something's happening! Yes! Is anyone gonna actually flirt or are you just gonna sit there and stare at each other? Because that doesn't actually raise up the romance bar. Only if they have another action does it. Please? Someone? Do something? One of you two? Please? Oh no! No, it's gonna go away! Come on, someone do something cute and romantic. Damn it! Wait, what happened? They all stood up abruptly, what happened? Whatever happened, you broke it! We're here to flirt, and that is it. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yes, 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 yes. No! Damn it. They sat together and they're like, nope, never mind. Oh, wait. Now these two are sitting together. Um, practically sitting in each other. Oh, okay, not anymore. <laughs> Morgan constantly battling brain freeze. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on here? Aww. Why are you dancing again? <laughs> He's literally been dancing for like three hours. Dude, stop. Go over here, talk with these people. Okay, well, there are four people here that you can have a conversation with. So you and Morgan were gonna play ping pong, what happened? Uh, okay. Five minutes later. Yeah, chat with Christopher, there we go. Caleb, what are you doing? You're just standing there. There we go. Um, you're trying to talk to him with Jem standing right in front of you. Um, okay, bye. Are you guys gonna flirt? You could flirt with him, that would be cool. Morgan. And as soon as I say it, Morgan nope. walks away. Okay, so Jade flirted with him. I actually want to see what the like percentages we have here. Jade is at 19. Christopher is at 12. <coughs> Morgan is also at 12. Felipe is at 13. And Jem is at 14. <laughs> Jade is in the lead at almost 20. It would just further prove my point that anytime that I have Jade and Caleb in a save, they're gonna end up together. And it's not my doing. It's so weird. I don't know. <laughs> Caleb's like, I was watching cooking TV. You can get back to watching cooking shows now because the TV's free. Oh, wait, he's gonna flirt with Jade? If I see something queued up and I see what it is, if it goes away, I have them do it anyway. Because, hey, he was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I have a feeling that she's gonna win, honestly. Unless Morgan or any of these people just kind of pop right in, but usually when it starts progressing like this, that person wins. As soon as they're eligible for a first kiss, yeah, I usually click it. If this actually happens the way that I think it's going to... Honestly, it would be the quickest if they do initiate woohoo. That just makes their romance bar go up like so fast. And see, he's gonna flirt with her again. 
literally everyone is down here and he's just pursuing Jade and it's like, um, okay. What was that? Wait, what? Oh my god, this is what I was literally just saying. They just initiated woohoo, most likely in the sauna. This is gonna be over so fast. I did not expect this at all. Oh my god, I thought this guy was dead. <laughs> I was like, oh no, what happened? Guys, come on. <laughs> Why? Let's see where the romance bar is now. Yeah, it went all the way up to 54 from where it was. It was like in the 20s or something. I'm like, oh, well, they hardly ever initiate woohoo. Guess what? They did. Well, it doesn't usually happen that fast. Guess what? It did. <laughs> oh, I'm rooting for Morgan. Guess what? It was Jade. What the heck? Um, how long do you guys plan on sitting there? <laughs> I mean, usually they're not even... Oh, there we go. Wow, spoke too soon. <sighs> oh, she's gonna kiss him. Okay. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was a weird ass sound. Maybe it's just because my volume's turned down most of the way. I don't know. It sounded like he just went ah! like like he was screaming on the way down. What? <laughs> what is happening here? Oh my God, Vlad! No. What even is? This outfit. Ugh, God. Ugh. Why did they decide to put Vlad in a zebra print speedo? God, that is disturbing. I was gonna chat with Jem. Maybe he'll flirt with her. Make there be some sort of competition, because as it stands right now, there's none. Jem, flirt with him, please. <laughs> nope, she's going to bed. And he's going to confess attraction, which, I mean, I'm pretty sure that- Why would you confess attraction after woohooing? That doesn't make sense. Morgan, he's right there. Flirt with him. Why? Every single time I say flirt with him, everyone goes to bed. What is this nonsense? Where are we at now? 64. So what I do when there is a winner is I go and I get them into a relationship, engaged and married all within seconds. <laughs> and then I move them out of the household so I can continue on with another uh, contestant or group of contestants and bachelor or bachelorette in whatever case. If this keeps going the way that it's going, Jade and Caleb would move out and I'd probably just have Morgan be the next bachelor and figure out another sort of contestant. I actually want to see Caleb swan dive okay yeah caleb let's let's swan dive into the pool let's hope he doesn't belly flop will you belly flop yep belly flop all right let's try that again he's like why so i can abuse my stomach again thanks <laughs> yeah there you go Awesome, something I could never do. <laughs> they just sit still for a while now. They don't do anything. They're literally idle for like way longer than they used to be. And of course I tried to. I tried to post that in the Sims group that I'm in on Facebook. And when I did, I got some of the best comments ever. It cracked me up. Someone was like, it's called depression, you uncultured swine. Someone else said, I have that exact same problem, but not in the game. It was great. That was a good opportunity for you two to flirt. Easy. And then she leaves. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm going to end this here. Um, I mean, we already kind of know what's going to happen. Honestly, they are at 65% out of 100. And I guarantee well, probably the next episode would be the end. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, didn't expect it to be this short, but hey, it is what it is. And I hope that you guys are enjoying it so far. Let me know if I'm doing anything wrong. Let me know if you like what you see and you want to see more. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Until the next time, have a good day, night, whatever it is where you are. And I will be back soon. Bye.